Hey Pisces, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of May 7th through the 13th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Alright, we have Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, the Devil, Wheel of Fortune, Death, Temperance, Three of Swords, Five of Cups, and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like here with the King of Cups, this is you raising and keeping your head high, even after a very difficult situation. I feel like some of you may be encountering um, almost like the complete end of a cycle here that has been slowly moving in that direction. I feel like something's been, um, you know, kind of moving from the place of still trying to work through it to officially the cycle is ending, this chapter is closing. Um, I feel like you've come to terms with a relationship or some sort of situation here. It could be work-related where you are done giving something the benefit of the doubt. You're done trying to, um, you know, make something happen here. And I feel like it's because you've reached your limit to injustice or you've reached your limit to how much hurt or disrespect you can take. And so I see you moving forward from a place of, I gave this all of um, my time, my energy. I was patient. I tried to, you know, help the situation. I tried to be, um, a good sport about it but there's just too much against me for me to continue on and allow this to happen so i see you just kind of accepting that if there is something here that you know has to do with a person who was not loyal or not honest or there was some sort of betrayal or some sort of lack of teamwork i feel like you have just accepted that you've accepted the truth of the situation and now you're just moving forward with the future in mind you're ready to close this cycle out i don't see you hesitating anymore i feel like maybe in the recent past you were still giving it time you were still like okay maybe this can still work maybe i could still do something here to fix it or, you know, maybe with time things will change. But I feel like you're realizing that someone here is not going to change. Only you can change your reaction to the situation. So I just kind of um, feel like you're really just very much in tune with yourself throughout this process. You're not confused. You're not, you know, doubting anymore. You're not wondering. You're just very clear on what it is you have to do in order to get through this. Um, but with that being said, I don't think it's an easy thing to deal with because with the five of cups and the devil, I feel like some someone here has kind of given you a, a reason to feel disappointed or a reason to feel sad. I feel like you're grieving um, the loss of something that could have been really amazing. You know, it's almost like the potential was enormous, but someone here had unhealthy habits or, or maybe some patterns, some toxic, you know, tendencies that kind of got in the way of what could have been you know, this amazing thing. So I just kind of see you, if anything, um, feeling sad that you couldn't see the potential really become reality or you couldn't, you know, see this be everything you thought it could be. So it's not so much that you're feeling the loss of, you know, the ending itself. It's you're, you're really um, anticipating or it's what you were anticipating, the fact that that's not happening because you are a dreamer, Pisces. You are able to see and imagine and create these... Um, you know scenarios in your head from a place of just knowing what something could be you are the master of seeing potential and i feel like with this situation you saw it you you felt it it's like you could almost taste how amazing this was but something didn't allow it to get to that point and now that's what you're feeling that's what this sadness is it's that realization like you know i saw this and it could have been so great but you know it's something that's beyond your control but I still see you moving forward. I still see you having your, you know, your your head very clear on what to do next. Because with the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like you're going to be fine, you know, regardless of what the outcome is for the situation. I feel like you have, you know, everything you need to move forward. And I feel like the Wheel of Fortune is saying, if something has been done to you, if there's been an injustice, if someone has not worked in your best interest, if something 
you know, has gotten in your way. It won't stay like that forever. The Wheel of Fortune is saying things are going to change in your favor very soon. But you also need to realize that you have what you need. Don't think that you don't. Some of you are, are wondering, you know, am I going to be okay after this? Maybe this is a situation where your finances are going to be affected. Or maybe this is a situation where your job is going to be affected. And some of you are wondering, am I going to be okay? The answer is yes. You just have to believe and understand that you do have everything you need. You've prepared for this, even though some of you didn't expect this to happen. Maybe this, you know, occurred, you know, out of nowhere, or maybe you did expect it. You know, maybe this temperance is showing up to say that this has been building up over time. You know, maybe this is not a surprise to you, but some of you did, you know, hope that it would be better. But with the death, um, it is confirming the ending of the cycle, but it, to me, it's also saying it's time for a rebirth. It's like, no matter what, if this didn't last, it's because there's something so much better out there for you, Pisces. And some of you are allowing that concept to be your truth. Some of you are really thinking to yourself, okay, this ended, this is over, this is the end of this chapter, but something so much better is about to start and I just have to be ready for it. And I think that a lot of you are. All right, let's clarify the three of swords knight of swords at the bottom of the deck wow i feel like maybe what what happened here the reason why this three of swords is showing up and now this knight of swords i feel like someone told you something that change your perspective of what the future could have been it's like someone bursted your bubble um but i also for some reason i don't know why i'm getting this but i'm feeling that what you've received is giving you the relief to this feeling i feel like this three of swords is the feeling that you had recently and now things are starting to change you're realizing that things are not as bad as you thought if anything i feel like this five of cups this three of swords and this devil is saying that you had an idea that something was not working you thought something was going to leave you devastated and heartbroken but now that you've received the truth now that you have exactly what you need to know you're suddenly realizing wait there is still hope. The wheel is still turning. I think that I've read this a little bit backwards, actually. I think that what I said before at the beginning of the reading was your past, your recent energy, not, not the current. I feel like this is the week where you realize things are actually moving forward. They're not staying still. They're not going backwards. So actually, this is definitely the rebirth of a situation that you thought was ending. Because we have the Empress, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. To clarify the Three of Swords, this is happy. This is positive. This is expansion. This is, you know, happily ever after. This is being better off than you thought. All right, Pisces, I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Some of you maybe haven't even received the news yet. Some of you are still waiting. But I think this is the week where you realize, wait, things are not as bad as I thought they were. Because some of you are creating these thoughts in your head that are maybe coming from a place of doubt, of fear, of old ways of thinking, old patterns, old reactions to situations. Some of you don't realize that things are not the same as they were before. And the Wheel of Fortune showing up with this Ten of Cups, Three of Wands, Empress, is saying things are going to get 10 times better moving forward because you actually have everything you need. Okay, let's clarify the death. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like for some of you, this could have to do with a, a job, some sort of money-related situation where maybe you thought that you weren't going to get an opportunity, you thought you weren't going to be receiving an offer, but boy, oh boy, Pisces, that is far from the truth. It's, it's just taking its time, but it's going to come through, and I think this week is the week where you realize, wait, hold up. This is actually here for me, and I just need to take it. We also have Two of Cups king of wands and the six of wands some of you are walking into your success walking into your victory era some of you are going to have 
you know, the, the chance to really explore and expand on your passions. Some of you are ready to take action on something. Some of you are ready to show what you've got in a situation. And the Two of Cups, whether this has to do with a relationship, maybe, you know, this is the strengthening and the success of this new relationship, this new phase, this new chapter of a connection. This could also be you are finally finding yourself in a situation that you thought was going to be completely different and actually is going to give you the success and the ability for you to recognize yourself at this time and really feel empowered to keep doing what you're doing. Some of you are surprising yourselves with the way that things are going, with the way that you're handling things and with the things that are coming through to prove to you that not everything is, is, is gone, not everything is, you know, is lost. Some of you needed to just give yourselves time to receive this new opportunity and this new offer. And it's looking very, very good. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you take it all in. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.